everyone, let's start our lesson with a story problem. We have Chloe baked some brownies. Some were fudge brownies and 20 were peanut butter brownies. So, in that case, we can write it as y plus 20. 20 for the peanut brownies, peanut butter brownies, and we represent y for some fudge brownies since the number of fudge brownies is still unknown. Now, let's continue. Chloe said that she made 15 fudge brownies. How many brownies did she make in all? Okay, so the fudge brownies is already given, which is 15. That means this 15 is substituted for Y since Chloe said she made 15 brownies or 15 fudge brownies. And we can now find the total number of brownies she made. So we have here 15 plus 20 is equal to 35. This method of evaluating algebraic expressions is called substitution, and that is our topic for today. Now, what is substitution? So, substitution is the process of replacing or substituting a number of a variable. Then, follow the order of operations to simplify. So, say order of operations, the rule, like the GEMDAS rule or the MDAS rule. Example, we have... 75 minus z then when z is equal to 25 what is the value of this expression so we have we substitute the value which is 25 for the variable z so we have 20, 75 minus 25 that is equal to 50. so take note that the value of an algebraic expression depends on the value of each variable in the expression Let's have more examples. So, simplify the given expression through substituting the given value or values of the variable or variables. Now, we have 2c minus 20. So, find the value of this expression when c is equal to 15. So, we can replace the c to 15, then we can simplify. Now, remember in our previous lesson that when a variable and a number are right next to each other, Multiplication is implied. And we write here 15 and then there's 2. We write parentheses to separate the 15 and 2 because if we put that together, it looks like 215. So again, if there is no operation between them, then multiplication is implied. So if you have 2c, that means c is multiplied by 2. And if c is 15, we multiply 15 times 2. Okay, and then following the order of operation, we have multiplication first, 15 times 2, that is 30, minus 20, we have 30 minus 20, the answer is 10. Again, we always follow the order of operations. Okay, next, we have 10y minus 7y divided by 2. And what is the value of the exp expression when y is equal to 4? So, you replace y to 4. For the 10y, we multiply 10 times 4, then minus 7 times 4, because this is multiplication, 7 and y, 7 times y, and the y is 4, then divide it with 2. So, we multiply 10 times 4, that is 40, minus 7 times 4, that is 28, divided by 2. So we divide first before we, sub we subtract. So follow the order of operations. So we have 28 divided by 2, that is 14. So when we subtract 40 minus 14 is equal to 26. Next, we have x squared minus x plus 2. And when, what is the value of the expression when x is equal to 5? So we replace x by 5. We have here 5, the exponent which is 2, since there's an exponent here, minus 5 for the value of x plus 2. So following the order of operation, we need to perform the exponent, which is 5 squared. That is 5 times 5, that is 25. So 25, copy, minus 5 plus 2, then... Um, we, sub we subtract first before we add. So 25 minus 5, it's 20. Plus 2, the answer is 22. Next, we have 10a plus 5b when a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. So 
Here we have two variables. So whatever is the value of A, you substitute here in A and for the B, substitute here in 5B. So um, we have 10, then multiplied it to the value of A is 2 plus 5 and then the value of B is 3. Then you multiply these two first before you add. We have your 10 times 2 is 20 and 5 times 3 is 15. So 20 plus 15 is equal to 35. Next, we have 2, open parenthesis, 8m plus 5n, close parenthesis. And when m is 10 and b is equal to 5. So let's substitute the value of m which is 10 and the n is 5. So I use parenthesis when I substitute the value of m and substitute the value of m. And since I use a parenthesis, inside the parenthesis, I used brackets here instead. This is what you call nested parenthesis. So let's perform 10 times 8 is 80 and then 5 times 5 is 25. So you perform first inside the group, which is 80 plus 25, that is 105. Now this time, so you can see there is no operation between the parentheses and this two. That means it's a default operation, which is multiplication. So 105 times 2, that is 210. Okay, another example, we have 100 minus 4x plus 14 divided by or over 3y. When x, when x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2, what is the value of the expression? So let's substitute the value of the variables. For x is 3 and for the y is 2. Then you simplify first here the numerator or the dividend before you divide it to this 3 times 2. So we have 100 minus 12 is 12 plus 14, then 3 times 2 is 6. Then you subtract first before you add 100 minus 12 is 88, then plus 14, then divide it to 6. Then you add first here, 88 plus 14, that is 102. Then 6, 102 divided by 6 is 17. So that's it. That's how you evaluate algebraic expressions by substituting the value of the variable or the variables. So I hope that you learned something from our lesson.